Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam passed by the graves of the shuhada and by the graves of who, had, who are in al-baqiyah, the companions who had died and been buried there, about two months before he died, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he knew that it was close to his death because Jibreel alayhi salam came and made him read the, recite the Qur'an in the Ramadan twice. twice. Although he used to know once before. Once before. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa knew this is a sign of his end. He passed by the grave and he was sad. And the Sahabi was with him, I think it was Abu Dhar, Allahu A'lam. And he said, oh, I'm going to miss meeting my brothers. And the Sahabi said, where are your brothers, Ya Rasulullah? Here we are, what do you mean, miss? Like, uh, you mean you're going to die and miss us? He said, no, no. Antum Ashabi, you're my companions. The ones I'm talking about are the ones who haven't come yet. They're not born yet. They will believe in me even though they have never seen me. I just, that's the only thing I will miss. I don't want anything from this world. I miss Allah more than anyone. And I just want to meet him and that's, I just want to go. But I'm going to miss my brethren, the Muslim men and women. And I ask Allah that we are those Amen. among them. I will miss seeing them. Amanu bi wa lam yarawni. They believed in me and they never saw me. Allah gave me and every prophet a special dua that was uh, specific for every prophet to ask. Other than every other dua, there was one specific one every prophet had that will never be refused. And each one took his dua already. As for me, I left it for the hereafter. On the day of judgment, the people will go to every prophet and none of them could help them. And then finally they'll come to me. And I have a right. I still have a dua. He will prostrate to Allah a prostration he has never prostrated the likes of before. Then he will say things to Allah of dua and dhikr that he had never said before. In a time when Allah has never been angry the way he's been angry on that day. And Allah will say to him, Irfa ra'sak ya Muhammad. Sallallahu lift your head up. Washfa'tu shaffar. Ask me to save whoever you want. Was'al tu'ata. Ask me. Anything else and I will give it to you. Allah gave that honor for the Prophet ﷺ out of his own mercy. And Rasul ﷺ will stand up. And what will he say? Allahumma ummati ummati. Oh Allah, my nation, my nation. Those who followed me. He doesn't ask about himself. Ya Rabbi ummati ummati. Every other Prophet will say nafsi nafsi. Myself, myself. Not out of selfishness. Everyone's concerned for their own state. Yeah, they've difficult done. day. And the Rasul Sallallahu He said, I saved my dua for this day. Who is the Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu Every person that believed in him and Allah and didn't make any shirk. So there are people who prayed on and off. Some of them who were lazy in their actions. Some of them who did major sins. These are the people Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is calling out. He's not talking about the Sahabas and all those who are guaranteed paradise. He's talking about the others who are going to be destined to hellfire.